Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about answering the question, what are equivalent ratios? You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Equivalent ratios are ratios that contain the same relationship between the two ratios. Equivalent ratios can be found by multiplying either the numerator or the denominators by the same number. You can use multiplication or division to, to find missing numbers in equivalent ratios. In the case of this example that gives us two equivalent ratios, we have 6 to a missing number is equal to 12 to 48. We can take these equivalent ratios and we can write them out as fractions in order to show you how to find the missing number. The first ratio gives us 6 over our missing number, which I'm going to use a question mark, and that's equal to the second ratio, which is 12 over 48. In the case of this example, we're going to use division. Now I know we're going to use division because we have to find the relationship from the second ratio back to the first ratio. This is because we, we can't use the first ratio to find the relationship because we're missing a number in that ratio. So we're going to take the second ratio and we're going to find the relationship of the numerator and the denominator to the relationship in the first ratio of the numerator and the denominator. In order to go from 12 to 6, you have to divide by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then you can use that same relationship to go backwards from 48 to get our missing number. So we're also going to do 48 divided by 2. 48 divided by 2 is 24. So now I know that our missing number has to be 24 because our equivalent ratios have to have the same relationship between the two ratios. In the case of this example, the relationship is to divide by 2. Let's do a couple practice problems on our equivalent ratios worksheet. The first problem on our equivalent ratios worksheet gives us the ratio of 2 to 8 is equal to 6 to our missing number. The directions say to fill in the blank with a number that will make the ratios equivalent. We can take our ratios and we can write them out as fractions. So 2 over 8 is equal to 6 over our missing number. We know that equivalent ratios have the same relationship between the two sets of ratios. We can use one ratio to determine the missing number in another ratio. In the case of this example, we're going to use the first ratio to find the missing number in the second ratio. So we have to determine the relationship to go from 2 to 6. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So we can use that same relationship of times 3 to fill in our missing number. 8 times 3 is 24. So I know that our missing number is 24 in this equivalent ratio because in order for the ratios to be equivalent, this number has to be 24. We know that the relationship between the two ratios is to multiply times 3. The next problem we're going to complete on our equivalent ratios worksheet is number 3. This problem gives us a blank number is to 10 is equal to 4 over 5. So we don't know this number, so we're going to say question mark over 10 is equal to the ratio of 4 over 5. So again, we have to fill in our missing number here by finding the relationship between the two equivalent ratios. We have to go from the second ratio back to the first ratio this time by using the denominator because we're missing a number in the first ratio. So we have to figure out how do we go from 5 to 10 and 5 times 2 is 10. So I know that the relationship is to multiply times 2. And then 4 times 2 will give us our missing number, which in this case is going to be 8. So our missing number in this equivalent ratio is 8. The final problem we're going to complete on our equivalent ratios worksheet is number 8. This problem gives us 99 over 9 is equal to 11 over our missing number. Again, we need to find the relationship between the two ratios by going from one ratio to the other. In the case of this example, we have to figure out how do we go from 99 to 11 because we're missing a number in the denominator. So we have to use the two numbers in the numerator. So 99 divided by 9 is 11. So now we know the relationship is to divide by 9. So we take that relationship and we also use it in the denominator. 9 divided by 9 
is equal to 1. So I know that our missing number has to be 1. Hopefully you found this video helpful for answering the question, what are equivalent ratios? If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.